Hey guys, how are you? Welcome back to my channel. I hope that you are amazing, Luella, and the Lord has been blessing you in your life and you are feeling good today. And if you're not feeling good, I hope that this video will give you some inspiration to get back into your word and go to the Lord and pray to him and just seek him so that he can give you rest. Today's video is called How the Bible Has Changed My Life. I have been reading it now for just over seven months since I was saved. I read it almost every single day. Some days I missed it, but for the most part I try to read it, I read it every single day. Whether it's five minutes or whether it's an hour, I'm in the Word and it is amazing. I read the Bible because I want to and not because I have to. Um, in my testimony video, I talked about how the practices that I was doing before when I was living in the new age was that I would just kind of do it because I saw the benefits that people were getting it from getting from their life. And I was like, oh, I want that. But instead of reading and learning about the background of why, where the, the teachings came from and why things are done a certain way, I just kind of was like, no, I just want to do the, the quickest thing. And I want to have like the, the shortest route to success. So I wanted that. But the thing is, um, I didn't bother learning about the background of, and you know, about the teachings behind it. And so for me, when I was saved and I received the Holy Spirit, like the thing is like, I already, God had showed me the truth, you know, like he had like removed the blinders from my eyes and, um, you know, he just really showed me and showed me the areas that I was being deceived in my life. And so the thing is, I wanted to make sure that, okay, if I'm going to go into this full wholeheartedly, follow the Lord, I was like, I have to read my Bible because there are so many people, guys, that's that I meet that are believers, but they don't read their Bible, you know. And there was like a there was a stat I remember on Doreen Virtues like Instagram before, and said that you know like only like ten percent of Americans you know read their Bible, even though it was like a a study probably. I don't think there was like tons of people in that study, but. But the thing is like, there is still a small percentage of people that actually read their Bible. And I know that because there's people that I've, you know, that I know, that I have known, that when I see ways that they live their life, um, that of what they do like more, the majority of the way that they live their life, it's like, okay, I'm like, I know that they haven't, they don't really have that close of a relationship with God. And I'm not saying this to judge them by any means, but it's just things that I notice, you know, because the thing is like the closer you want to get to God, the closer, you know, that you really draw close to him, he will change you more and more each day. And, uh, you know, and it takes time for us to, you know, for, for him to change us, you know, to make us holy and to get um, better, you know, but we, uh, it, it takes us, it takes time. And so the thing is like, I, there's things that I do in my life right now that are still not perfect. And I'm not going to, I'm never going to be perfect. I'm going to be a sinner till the day I die, but I'm just thankful that I've got the Lord there, that I've got the ability to be able to repent, that I'm going to be able to pray and then he can teach me. And in times, you know, like there will be times that he will be like, you know, he will push me, you know, but he's also such a loving God too. He's merciful. He's full of grace. Uh, he'll continue to guide my life and my path. So, you know, I, I do it because I just want to get closer to him and learn more about him. One of the things that I'd mentioned in my other video is that, you know, the Bible so far is like, he's really like, the Bible is like been teaching me like how to love others. And, you know, we're living in a world that's run by the enemy and there are, you know, when you're brought, brought to the truth, like I was, you know, months and months and months ago, like all I wanted to do was just shout it from the rooftops, like people like wake up, wake up, like the tr true waking up, you know, but I realized like, it ain't that easy because there's a there's a veil there's a veil and there's a there's things over people's eyes and no matter what you say like they just cannot hear the truth and we know that because of the enemy and we know that the one who's actually the ruler of this world who is satan so through this time you know the lord is teaching me how to love more and be more gentle and more kind and more kind with my words and when i feel when the holy spirit pushes me to say something I will say it. And how do I know? Because this, I get this energy inside of me. That's like when we're talking about something, we're talking to, uh, when I've talked, there's one friend in particular, this happened to me a few times with her, where we'll have our conversation about God and she has questions. And then all of a sudden, like the Holy Spirit's like building up me, building up me. And the thing is like, I will, I'll say what's how I feel. And it's like, but the words just come so naturally and so beautifully. And like, I feel like God is speaking through me and it's just, oh, it's like so incredible. You know, but I have to be patient and just know that, you know, the people that are in my life, because I don't have many believers in my life, but that, you know, but I'm praying for them. I pray for them every single day. 
and I just have to, you know, I just have to be patient and just love them and just, you know, be aware of like what they are experiencing and knowing that like who's the one that's actually um, in charge in their life. So, um, yeah, because the, the Lord, he's merciful, he's full of grace, you know, like I should be the same with others in their journey as well. And he's really teaching me to love, you know, like to love and pray them and love, sorry, to love them and to pray for them. And it's, it's made me feel so much more calm and not feel like I have to take on this big responsibility that, you know, because the thing is like, I, I can't, you know, it's like, it's God, it's God's will on how things will be done. You know, it's God's will be done on earth. It is in, it is in heaven. So, you know, uh, yeah. So the Bible as well, it's so full of wisdom and like things that the world actually can't teach me. So the Bible teaches me wisdom, you know, and like, these are the words from our creator. I mentioned in my last video, you know, it's all about for me, like trying to just stay on this narrow path and asking him to keep me on this narrow path so that, you know, I can, you know, I can be with him one day, one day when Jesus comes back. So, um, and at the end of the two, he just reminds me that I am not perfect. I'm a sinner. I still do sinful things, but I trust in God to change me as I journey on my path through this life. So, um, how has it, so I've talked a bit about how it's changed my life, but there's some more things here. So, uh, it has helped me bring me closer to God. So my biggest thing that has happened to me most recently was the baptism of the Holy Spirit. So I had received the Holy Spirit in June, but I didn't understand a lot about it. And then I did studying on it a couple months ago and I learned, I just learned so much more about it. And I actually received, um, the, I received the gift of tongues that comes with like actually the full infilling of the Holy Spirit of the Holy Spirit. And I know that this is like a dividing thing, but I'll tell you from my own experience. Okay. I have been ever since I went through that experience it like actually brought me closer to Jesus that I am like, you know, I'm like, I was like, I will pray to Jesus. I will praise Jesus. Thank Jesus. And when I say it, I'm like, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Like in my prayers or when I'm walking around or be like, I praise you, Jesus, you know, like I'm not afraid to do it anymore. Like there's like this, no, um, before it was kind of weird me saying Jesus's name for some reason, I don't know why, but that's completely changed. And then ever since I started like praying in tongues, like my heavenly prayer language to the Lord, that's even helped me bring me closer. And I, at times my prayers are like, I was like, my body just feels really different, you know? And like, this is, it's incredible. It's incredible. But that, you know, it's just helped me bring like through the Bible and learning more about certain things in the Bible. It's, it's helping to like reveal, it's revealing, he's revealing more of the mysteries to me through, you know, through others, through prayer and like just through his word. And so it's really, really cool. And I never knew about tongues at all, but now that I do, it's like really, really freaking awesome. So if you ever want a video on that, let me know, but, um, I'll leave videos in the description section below if you're curious about that. Uh, another thing is that, uh, he gives me strength. The Bible gives me strength. So there's days that I feel lost, confused, unsure. And it reminds me to, you know, go to him instead of relying on myself. You know, there in Matthew 1, 28 to 30, it says, you know, come to me, all of you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me for I am gentle and humble in heart and you will find rest for your souls for my yoke is easy and my burden is light. And so, you know, this reminds me that when I take things into my own hands, I must go to God and trust in him instead. And it's like really lightens this burden that I have on me. And, you know, I always think about that, you know, like for my yoke is easy and my burden is light. And if I feel like his burden is heavy, I have to really question, what am I thinking? Why am I making this burden really heavy for me? And when I really go through that and I pray to God about it, and then I repent on, on these, I repent for when I like don't trust in him as well. And it really just helps to open things up and change my perspective and just remind me, you know, don't worry about tomorrow. Don't worry about tomorrow. Like God, like for today is enough. Pretty much there's the Bible verse. I'll put it on the screen here, but it just really helps me to, uh, become more at peace with what it is. And I, I will just tell you guys, even, okay, before this video, I had days, like three, four days of this, like even just this past weekend, just feeling horrible, feeling horrible. And I'd go to the Lord, like, I'd have to just keep on going to him, you know? And sometimes the answers, they don't come right away. 
and they didn't come right away for me either. It took took some time. It took some time, but I just each time I would just ask me like, Lord, I'm like, please, I'm like, please, just. I was like, I just want to rest in you. Like, give me peace. You know, tell me what I can do, and just you know, and then just I'm like, I trust you. I trust you. And then I would there would be a, whatever Bible verse you know I would um, think of or come across. Then I would start meditating on that verse, and it really made such a big difference. You know, uh, the next is that. I feel my spirit is filled every single day when I read through the Bible. So, and it helps feel my spirit feel lighter. So what I've done recently is as part of like my Bible reading, it's mostly reading, not as much studying, but mostly reading. I'm actually doing one Psalm, one proverb, a chapter in the Old Testament and the chapter in the New Testament every day. And I listen to it uh, through the Bible app. And so it's great. So I can listen and I read. And there's some days when like, you know, there's like, maybe I don't really understand most of what it is, but there's sometimes things will like come up to me and like the Lord will show me something um, and sometimes not. But after I've been doing it and I've been really doing like a full spectrum of the Bible when I do this, it's been awesome because I really feel like my spirit has been filled. And I also ask him like, Lord, please fill your, fill my spirit. You know, I ask this in prayer as well, but by doing it really gives me that sense of calm to really go in and like go after my day then because I feel more grounded and rooted in God and in his word. So that's been really helpful. Uh, another thing has changed my life is that it, I have learned where, you know, just things in this world comes from. You know, there's tons and tons of history in the Bible. It is also a history book. Like two two key things for me that I like just always remember is, you know how um, in uh, in Babylon they had built like the Tower of Babel and the people were building it together to try to get up to God, but really exclude God from the whole situation. So what God had done, he'd actually, um, he'd actually separated everyone and uh, uh, he had given them like all new languages. So that's like Babel is actually like all new languages. So they couldn't actually communicate with each other, which forced them to spread out and be in different places. And it was really cool because I've always wondered, I'm like, how do we have all these different languages in the earth? And I thought, wait, were people just making this stuff up? But for me, it's like kind of makes more sense that, you know, like the God that created us, created everything, that he created these languages too for everyone. So that's kind of like where that history came from, that history lesson. Because I believe everything in the, in the Bible is true, right? So, um, and then the other part was like about the the rainbow, you know, and like how the rainbow was. So it was like, it was a sign of the covenant after the flood that God promised he'll never flood the world ever again. That was pretty cool too. So there's really cool things that you learn in the Bible. And, you know, the more you go through it and the more you read it and the more you learn about things and today and how it applied to history before, it's pretty cool to see that there's so much in the Bible that's there already. So it's a really cool like history lesson because I've always hated history, but now I'm like, I kind of love history now, which is really cool. Uh, another thing is that it's just, um, it's opening my mind. You know, God just shows me more of the truth because they do say that in the scriptures, like it's a mystery and like God's, you, you know, you need to ask God to reveal the mysteries of the scripture to you and the mysteries of God. And so slowly day by day, you know, my mind is becoming open and he's helping me become just, you know, more like Jesus. I keep on asking him, like, please make me more like Jesus. And so less of, it's like, I want, um, I want more of you and less of me. There's a really cool song about that, but, um, I, you know, I really want more of God and become less of me. And like, the thing is like, I, I just want him. That's all I want. You know, I love him. So yeah. And then the last part here is that, uh, through the Bible, it's helped to give me more wisdom. You know, today I was reading through Proverbs, um, because today I'm filming this video on the second. I don't know when this video is going to come out because I'm just filming a whole bunch of them back to back. But uh, because today was the second, I read Proverbs 2. And if you didn't know this, there are 31 ch uh, chapters in Proverbs. So the way that most people do this is that they, or they're like the, kind of the pros of like the Bible readers, what they do is, um, depending on the day of the month, that is the proverb that they'll read. So today, February 2nd, I read, read Proverbs 2. So there'll be some months you don't read all the Proverbs, but then other months you'll read all 31 of the Proverbs, which is really cool. So, uh, so anyways, but today in Proverbs 2, it was all about like the Lord gives wisdom. And so I really loved it. There was this one, just one tiny verse here, you know, it says like, for the Lord giveth wisdom out of his mouth cometh knowledge and understanding. So it's slowly day by day, the more I'm learning more of his wisdom and more of who he is through his word. So finally, finally, oh, I'm getting this video. Like it's going to be less than 20 minutes. Okay. So guys, I encourage you to, um, start reading the Bible if you don't. And if you, yeah. And if you've kind of just haven't been doing it that much, 
So I'll encourage you, read a little bit more of it and then just go in with the intention to get closer to the Lord and just help him to guide you. You know, like that's, it's good. It is good. He is good. His word is good. And, um, you know, just allow him to guide you and lead you. And when you give, okay. Yeah. When you give your life to God, And you get to know more of him and you love him and you trust him. Not everything's going to be easy. It's not going to be easy. But there is this calm. There is this calm that I have in my life that I know that I never have to rely on myself ever again. You know, I've got the Lord will put people in my life. He'll make things, you know, he will make my path straight. And... I used to rely on myself all the time. And the thing is like, how can you rely on yourself if you're just like, we're just mere humans, we're mere mortals. We're only here for a short period of time. And all of our knowledge and understanding are based on our experiences of things that we've learned from other people in our life. And so God took, you know, God came onto this earth, took a body, lived a sinless life and died for us on the cross to be that perfect sacrifice for us, for our sins. And if you read through the book of um, like Exodus, Leviticus, those are the books that talk about like the whole sacrificial system and why they did all those sacrifices, why they killed so many animals, you know, and there's different types of sacrifices. And when you understand that, and then you understand why God had to die for us. It's so amazing because he died for us now so that he can have a relationship with us. He created this new covenant for us. You know, when we believe in him and we ask him to come into our life, you know, and we really ask to be filled by his Holy Spirit, his Holy Spirit will come into us. And so he can live in us. You know, we are no longer unclean you know we he can come and he is he's so good he's so good and you know what he did for us was honestly it was true love it's really it was like he loves us so much that's it i love you guys read your bible <laughs> it's changed my life it's changing my life you know, I'm excited to do update videos later in years to come, you know, and see where this is. But, the, you know, I make it a priority. I make it a priority to read it. I put God first in my life. I used to put me first. You probably heard that in old videos of myself. But now God comes first. God is first. God is number one. I love him. I love Jesus. So I love you guys. Um, you know, let me know in the comment section below how the Bible has changed your life, how God's changed your life. May the Lord bless you. I love you. I'll see you in the next video.